got cut off there. Anyway, as I was talking about, my favorite car, Brad, new Brad's favorite, my favorite new Brad car this year is the Reese Tow Power Draw Tight car, which are car, which are sponsors for him on his Truck Series team for the last four or five years before he had to shut it down beginning of this year. Or before uh, the end of last year, I should say. And yeah, so it's kind of sad to see them go. But hey, they got the sponsor for two races, and he nearly won one of them at Richmond, so he could have won four in a row. That would have been damn cool, but oh well, I'll settle for this car. <laughs> Being a decent new paint scheme for him. I mean, yeah, I love these. I love his new paint scheme, so it's pretty cool. I'm happy this car got made, because it's actually not, it's it's uh, exclusive to NASCAR Authentics, so, because Na- Lionel didn't even offer it, so... Yay! I got a new Brad car. Anyway, now next car I'm gonna driver I'm talking about and his cars are Casey Kane's WRL car and his uh, Budweiser throwback for the All Star race. Unfortunately, he is retired. These will be some of the last diecasts that will be made for him, uh, at least for Authentics. Anyway, I'm kind of sad to see him go. He kind of had to leave early because, excuse me, of health issues with his. Um, dehydration and all that dealing with the Darlington race. I hope they make his Darlington throwback, which is like a sister car to this as a throwback to his 2006 season. Cause that car was it. The, the original 2006 car was with the Dodge charger body is just pure straight up sex. Like that car is amazing. Um, so yeah, I hope they make, they make that and put that on authentics or they get it made. Cause it's all right. It almost didn't make MLQ. So it, I don't even know if it's, if even it's available, but yeah, if you want to pre-order that shit, please. Cause I can't, I'm broke because <laughs> I bought all this shit. So please help a brother out so we can get some more Casey Kane shit. Cause we all need that in our lives. Um, and then this one. I'm glad they finally made it before he finally just before he basically got kicked out of the ride for Ryan Priest, which I love Ryan Priest, man. I'm happy he's getting a shot in the cup in this car. Hopefully he can turn this team around. But yeah, the dinger, all the dinger. He's leaving NASCAR and going to the booth for IMSA racing for NBC, which is awesome. Happy to see him get a shot at the booth. Unfortunately, this is the last time we'll get to see him in an authentics in the 47 car. Rip. <laughs> And the Kroger click list. Well, this this version of the Kroger click list car is gone. But we'll get a new one with a cool brown on the top. Look pretty damn neat. I like that one. Although people are already bitching. I don't like the brown. It looks like shit. Uh, but anyway. I like this car. I love Almondinger. I'm, ha- I'm sad to see him go. That race at Watkins Glen that he won against Marcus Ambrose. Some of the best fucking racing ever. That track is amazing. Great shit happens there. Sad to see Dinger go. So, but, eh. All good things must come to an end, as Star Trek taught us. And some people never seem to learn. But anyway, the last four cars I have are all throwbacks. The first up is Brian Blaney's Dave Blaney throwback to his dad's car that nearly probably could have won the race that this car ended up second and lost to Ricky Rudd with. But yeah, pretty badass car. Love this car. I wish I had Matt Kenseth's car from uh, a couple years ago so I could have we could literally recreate the finish with these three cars but oh well anyway great great paint scheme love the throwback and yeah another great blaney paint scheme dude dude had a bunch of great paint schemes this year i never thought in a million years i'd ever want to get a kyle bush car but this car was just amazing to look at i had to get it so this is probably the first and last time i will ever get a kyle bush car inauthentics because i hate this motherfucker with a fiery passion but goddamn is this paint scheme amazing good for on you joe gibbs please do more of these do do the freaking ken schrader m&m's car finally because that car looked amazing uh and here's uh the jeff burton throwback for dibby and this is one of the probably the only the first and only time well not the yeah the first and only time we'll probably see a matt de benedetto car well 32 car anyway for authentics because He's going to the 95 uh, to hopefully not have what happened to Truex happen to him and Levine because, yeah, they're going to be a satellite team to Joe Gibbs, and that could totally not completely go fuck them over like Furniture Row did uh, or got fucked over by Joe Gibbs. So, yeah, let's hope and pray that doesn't happen again. And if it does, then Joe Gibbs can seriously just go fuck himself. Um, Yeah, anyway. Dibby, uh, this is a cool throwback to Jeff Burton. I love this car. I'm so glad I found it. I picked it up. Badass paint scheme, lightning, all that. I wish I had the actual 
Burton car, but I'm going to fix that eventually. And then I got the throwback to his own car, Kurt Busch's uh, Rubbermaid Sharpie car. Love this car. Badass paint scheme. Nearly won the Southern, not Southern 5, the, the, the other 400-mile race before they got rid of it. And Yeah, anyway. The spring race at Darlington. <laughs> Uh, and he got to run the run a sharper rubby, rubber made sharpie car, and they even like tried to recreate the sharpie thing with the Haas drill. It's hard to see because the lighting is so shit in this room. I'm so sorry. You probably couldn't see shit in this video, but I had to talk about these cars because they're just all fucking amazing. And I went on a spending spree, and I'm probably gonna fucking regret it in about a month and go, wow, I could have had all that money, and I could have bought. A nice little apartment or house. But no, I had to buy cars because I'm fucking retarded. Anyway, yeah, my life is pointless anymore. There, it's it's been taken over by cars. I'm gonna die in a sea of cars. It's gonna be I'm gonna be like um Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like those guys in that Bible story about, you know, being greedy and gaining and I'm getting killed by my own house. But anyway, whatever. Fuck, I don't even know if that's a real Bible story, but whatever. Fuck it. These cars are cool, it is worth it. I don't care. Thank you, Marilyn, for helping me get all these. I would not have been able to get not even a quarter of these without your amazing help and searching for them. She's like my NASCAR drug dealer, so go give her a shout out on Facebook. She's an amazing person, and she had, she had she didn't have to do any of this, and she wanted to because she knows how much I love NASCAR and getting cars. So this is freaking cool, and now I got to fight to keep these away from my little brother Sean, so he doesn't destroy them like he does all his other toys over here. Yeah, that Mark Martin car, rip, rip Mark Martin. Anyway, <sighs> good night, Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, kiss my ass, kiss your ass, kiss his ass, Happy Hanukkah.